let's take the next set of opposites to write our and write and practice our cursive writing. All right. Where do you see the birds fly? The birds fly up in the sky. Up. Spell up. U P up. Where do you see the little turtle move? Down there. Up. U P up. Opposite. Down. D O W and down. The fan is up on the ceiling. The baby is crawling down on the floor. Up down. Opposite of up. Down. Good. Let's write. Up. You pay up. Opposite down. D O W N down. Up down. And the next one is sometimes mommy says come on I'm going to take you out and buy you a new pair of shoes. Oh you're all excited. New. You like to get a new pair of shoes? Yes mama you say. Spell new N E W new. Opposite of new, old. Spell old, O L D old. So mommy says, collect all your old shoes. Let's keep it outside. You're getting a new, new old. Let's write new N E W new N E W new. Opposite. Old, O L D, old, opposite of new, old, O O L D, old, new, old. Next one. Now, mommy says. Come on, let's dry all our clothes. The machine has been washing it. Now we'll take out all the clothes. Now we're going to dry it in the sun. Spell dry, D R Y, dry. What do you dry? You dry the wet clothes. Opposite of dry, wet. After mommy washes the clothes, it is wet. Spell wet. W E T wet. You put it in the sun to dry. Opposite of wet, dry. Dry, wet. Okay? Fine. Now, let's write wet. Wet opposite, dry. Good. Spell wet. W E T wet. When you go swimming, your dress get wet. Then what does mommy do? Take and put it to dry. Yes. Wet, dry. D, R, Y, wet, dry. Next. When teacher gives you a lot of stars in your book because your handwriting is very nice, what do you feel? Happy. Spell happy. H-A-P-P-Y. Happy. Now, you bring the book home and you want to show it to mommy. But then you forgot to put it in your bag. So you tell mommy, I am very sad today. Opposite of happy, sad. Mommy laughs, why are you sad? No, teacher gave me lots of stars in my book, but I left the book in the class. Happy spelling, H-A-P-P-Y, happy, opposite, sad, S-A-D, sad. Let's write, 
H A P P Y Happy Opposite Sad S A D Sad Let's look at the full set of opposite that we have written. Up. The ceiling fan is up. U P up and the baby is playing down here. D O W and down. New. You get a new pair of shoes. N E W new. Opposite old. So you give away the old ones. To someone, O L D, old, wet. You go in the rain, your clothes get wet. Then what do you do? W E T, wet. You take and put it to dry in the sun. D R Y, dry. Happy. On your happy, your birthday, are very happy. H A P P Y, happy. And the birthday is over. The next day, you're very sad. You want the birthday to come every day. S A D. Sad. Let us take the next set of opposites to write our cursive writing. All right. Now, sometimes after fever, you get fever, and you are sick in bed, and then you have to get back to school. You are not able to move about, run about like before. Your body feels very weak. Grandmother says, "Oh, I feel very weak today." Spell weak. W e a k weak. Okay. So after fever, you're always feeling weak. Then you go to the doctor. Doctor says, "Come on, take a cup of milk. Take this vitamins. See some soup, vegetables. You'll become opposite of weak." Strong, you become strong once again. So you're weak after a fever. After a week or two, you eat nicely, take vitamins, vegetables, fruit. You become strong. Spell strong. S T R O N G. Strong. Weak. Opposite. Strong. Let's write. W. E. A K weak strong S T R O N G strong K okay? weak strong Cut. Next, if you have a fish tank, you can see the little fishes moving about. Why are they moving? Those tiny fishes are alive. Spell alive. A L I V E alive. You want to clean the fish tank, and you take a fish out. If you take a fish out. And not put in the water. Just leave it out. What will happen to the little fish? Soon after you leave it out, it'll be a dead fish, alive, dead. Spell dead. D E A D dead. So when you take a fish out of the water, you must put it into some other water. Okay. Alive, opposite dead. Let's write. A L I V E alive. A L I V E alive. The fish is alive in the fish tank. If you take it out and put it outside, it'll be dead. D E A 
D, dead. Then you cry and say, oh, my tiny fish is dead. Alive, dead. Next. Whenever you go out or to any place, you should know your street or the road, where does it begin? And where does it end? Begin. Spell begin. B E G I N. Begin. Your friend Tom might say, You know, where's my house? The beginning of the. Then the little girl, Tina, will say, You know, at the end of the street, the end of the road is my house. So begin, end. Spell begin, B E G I N. Begin opposite, E N D N. Let's try it. B E G I N. Begin. If you begin to read a storybook, you must complete it. What is the beginning? You begin something. You must complete, isn't it? Begin, you must end. You remember the story of the hare and the tortoise? They begin to run from one end and then begin, they end their running race after some time. Begin, end. Spell end, E, N, D. They begin one point, they end the running race on another point. Good. Next, when you have a sports happening, the teacher says, come, let's practice. This is the starting point. Here is the line. You will start. Remember to finish on the other side. Only then you will get prize. You must start nicely with confidence and end it correctly also. So, starting point, finishing point. You start, S-T-A-R-T, start, S. Let's write, S-T-A-R-T, start. Start correctly, okay? Start. Not enough to start, you must complete, you must finish. At the other end, finish, start, finish, F-I-N-I-S-H, finish, start, F-I-N-I-S-H, start, finish. Let's look at the four set of opposites we have written for our cursive writing. Weak. When you have fever, you are a weak child. W E A K, weak. And after a few days, you become strong. S T R O N G, strong. Alive. Little fish is alive in the fish tank. A L I V E, alive. You take it out and leave it for some time. You will find the fish dead. D E A D, dead. Alive, dead. Begin. You begin any work well and you must also end the work well. B E G I N, begin opposite E N D, end. In the sports field, you must start. Start running, start on the starting point. S T A R T, start. Remember to finish at the other end. F I N I S H. Finish.